Progress M15M Russian Progress M-15M identified by NASA as Progress 47 or 47P is a Progress spacecraft used by Roscosmos to resupply the International Space Station during 2012. The 15th Progress M11F615A60 spacecraft, it has the serial number 414 and was built by RKK Energia. It arrived at the ISS in late April to deliver supplies to the Expedition 30 crew, and departed the ISS in late July. It was the 122nd launch to the ISS and the fifth Russian space launch in 2012. It was also the second mission for the Soyuz family of rockets since the beginning of the year. Topic. Launch The spacecraft was launched on time at 12 hours 50 minutes and 24 seconds Greenwich Mean Time from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Ten minutes after liftoff, the Soyuz U rocket carrying Progress M15M successfully delivered the spacecraft to orbit to begin its International Space Station ISS resupply mission. Progress M15M was inserted into a 193.68 by 256.52 km by 51.63 DEG inclination orbit. Topic. Docking Five maneuvers were conducted to refine the orbit of Progress M15M before rendezvous operations started early on the 22nd of April. Progress M15M docked with the ISS on April 22 at 1439 Greenwich Mean Time to the PERS docking compartment Nadir port. The port was vacated on 19 April by Progress M14M. Fully automated rendezvous and docking operations using the KERS docking system aboard the ISS and the Progress, drove the spacecraft to the link-up at orbital sunset. During the docking the ISS and Progress M15M were orbiting 249 miles above northern China. Hooks and latches were engaged a few minutes after docking to firmly secure the spacecraft to the ISS. The Expedition 30 crew opened the hatches and entered the Progress later on the day. Topic. Undocking and decay The M15M spacecraft remained docked to the ISS for three months. While docked, its cargo will be offloaded to the ISS and be loaded with trash and unwanted items for disposal. Topic. Curse test KERS is the system used by Progress spacecraft for automated rendezvous and docking with the space station. In addition to its current KERS A antennas, Progress M15M was also fitted with a new antenna system known as KERS NA. The first Progress M15M docking to the space station used the traditional KERS A. It was decided as such to ensure that Progress cargo would not go wasted, should the new KERS NA system fail. KERS NA system is more power efficient than its predecessor, KERS A. It also replaces the function of five existing KERS A antennas into one antenna, thus allowing for the removal of four antennas from future Progress and Soyuz spacecraft. Getting rid of these antennas will reduce the risk of a docking failure as some are deployed post-launch and one is retracted prior to docking since it extends forward of the Progress docking interface. Topic. First undocking and failed redocking On the 22nd of July 2012, Progress M15M undocked from the PERS docking compartment and tried to perform a re-rendezvous two days later to test the new KERS NA navigation antenna. The undocking from the space station's PERS compartment occurred around 2027 Greenwich Mean Time. The undocking occurred 255 miles over eastern Mongolia. The redocking was scheduled for 1.57 Greenwich Mean Time on 24 July. However it was aborted after equipment aboard the Progress spacecraft failed a self-test. The problem occurred at 1.23 Greenwich Mean Time while the KERS-NAS system was being activated. 
The issue forced the spacecraft into a passive abort mode as designed under safety protocols. At the time of the abort ISS and Progress were flying 9.3 miles apart. Two orbits after the abort, Russian flight controllers commanded the automated rendezvous system to re-activate for the collection of data. A second redocking attempt had to be delayed till 28 July to de-conflict with the arrival of the Japanese Kunotori-3 spacecraft at the ISS on 27 July. A likely cause for the aborted rendezvous was pointed at lower than expected temperatures on Progress M15M. As a solution to the issue, Russian engineers turned on all available heaters on the spacecraft, which kept Progress M15M at a constant 22 degrees, which in turn resulted in Kurzna activating successfully, paving the way for the second docking attempt. Topic. Second successful dedocking When Kurzna was successfully activated at 2300 Greenwich Mean Time on 28 July, it locked into the passive Kurz P on the Zvezda service module of the ISS. The re-rendezvous, fly around and docking to the space station's PERS compartment successfully occurred at around 1 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time on 29 July. During the time of the docking the ISS and the Progress was flying above the Earth to the west of New Guinea. Topic. Final departure from the ISS The Progress departed the space station for the second and final time on 30 July at 2116 Greenwich Mean Time. Topic. Experiments Progress M15M will conduct two experiments, Klopushka, from August 6-14, and Radar Progress, from August 15-20. At the completion of the Radar Progress experiment, Progress M15M will de-orbit for a destructive re-entry over the Pacific Ocean. Topic. Cargo Progress M15M was packed with 2,703 pounds of equipment, food, clothing, life support system gear, dry cargo, 1,988 pounds of propellant to replenish reservoirs that feed the Russian maneuvering thrusters, 926 pounds of water and some 110 pounds of oxygen and air. Among the cargo items inside the Progress, there was a special present for the Russian cosmonaut Gennady Padalka, who arrived at the ISS on May 15, 2012 and is expected to celebrate his 54th birthday in orbit on June 21.